A GFCI stands for Ground Fault Circuit Interrupter. A GFCI works by monitoring the current that's coming in and going out of the receptacle, and if it detects an anomaly of as little as 5 milliamps, it will trip and shut off to prevent an electrical issue. And you can always identify a GFCI by the test reset buttons on the front. And as you look at it, you'll see three exposed screws. There's a black or maybe a brass color, there's a silver one, and then there's a green one. The black is the hot line in, the silver is a neutral, and the green is the ground. Now most of the time they come packaged with a piece of tape over a couple other screws. These are what are called the load terminals. And a load terminal is basically anything that occurs after the GFCI. So you can actually protect an entire circuit with one single GFCI by wiring additional outlets down the line attached to the terminals under the tape. Now, in this case, we're not going to be using that because we're only installing a singular GFCI. But in the future, if somebody, let's say, wanted to run another outlet in this bathroom, they could tap into the load terminals and it would still be protected under the single GFCI. So you may notice in places like your kitchen where you have multiple outlets, but only one of them looks like a GFCI. And that's probably the first one on the circuit because it's probably protecting all those other ones down the line. It doesn't work backwards. You can't have a GFCI at the end.